Okay, so let's can have an example regarding this rule. Let's evaluate 10x plus 12 all over x squared minus 4x plus 5g of x. Okay, so um, having this, our nx is 10x plus 12 in we have the denominator which is in form of in quadratic form right so we have the um, a x squared plus b x plus c we're in our a here is equal to one our b here is equal to negative four and our c is equal to five right so um, according to our rule since this is only raised to one then we have the case 3. Okay. So the associate, the associated uh, partial fractions for this is in terms of this form. So we have A times 2 times our A is 1. So we have 1 times X. X plus our B is negative 4. We have negative 4. Then plus b all over a x squared plus b x plus c or this denominator here. Okay. So um, after transforming this this uh, form into something like this or to our partial fractions, uh, let's now um determine first determine the values of a and b in order for us to proceed in our integration okay so uh, by doing that let's have some uh, modification in our uh, algebra okay so uh, uh, clearing the fractions say so multiply both sides by x squared minus 4x plus 5 so we have 10x plus 12 is equal to a times 2x minus 4 plus b right so this is now our equation one okay so from here we can uh, cancel out the uh, the uh, a constant a by letting our x is equal to 2 because 2 times 2 is equal to 4 minus 4 is just 0 so we have we have 10 times our x is 2 plus 12 is equal to a times 2 minus 4 plus b so as you can see here we can cancel this out 4 minus 4 is just 0 and 0 multiplied by a is just 0. So simplifying this, we have 10 times 2, 20 plus 12 is equal to b. So all in all, our b is equal to 20 plus 12 is 32. Okay. Let's back this out. Okay. Then to solve for value of a, can now think of another another value of x that might help us to find the value of our a. So since b is um, not multiplied by even x, so we cannot um, think immediately of some variable of x that might uh, lead us to cancel our uh, b here. So, uh, let us now assign some values of x. So, any number, but uh, as what we have said, it is uh, suggested that it is a small value, say uh, 1 or negative 1 or 0. So, so, let's try. If x is equal to 0, then our from our equation 1, we have 10 multiplied by 0 plus 12 is equal to a, 2, times 0 is to 0 minus 4 
plus b so we have uh, 12 then the value of our a is uh, unknown 0 minus 4 is minus 4 so we have negative 4 and our unknown a plus the value of our b is 32 so um, uh, 4a is 32 minus 12 this is equal to 30. This is equal to So we have 30 32 minus 12 divided by 4 we have 5 So a is equal to 5 So a is equal to 5 and our b is equal to 32. So, um, after determining the values of A and B, we can now uh, go back to our um, to our last equation, which is equal to the A 2x minus 4 plus B. So, let's now uh, use our uh, values of A and B. So, we have uh, 2 times 5. We have 10x minus 4 plus our b is 32 then all over x squared minus 4x plus 5b of x okay so from here you can now um up, uh, i mean you can now apply or solve or evaluate this integrand how can we um solve this integrand maybe let's try to um, separate this into two integrands so we have 10x minus 4 dx all over x squared minus 4x plus 5. Then the other part is we have plus the integral of 32 dx all over x squared minus 4x plus 5. Okay. So, um, having this, you can now um, solve. this um, integral using uh, change of variable change of variable in the rule for um, du all over u okay while this one you can solve this uh, by using the uh, integration leading to uh, inverse trigonometric metric function okay. so by doing so our um, answer here is we have the um, 5 uh, 5 ln of x squared minus 4x plus 5 and then this part we have uh, 32 arc tan arc tangent x minus 2 and then our plus c okay so i will leave to you the uh, integration of this part and your uh, solution here is by using change of variable by letting some uh, variable is equal to u and then apply the rule for the all over u or the rule for logarithmic and for um, this part this part um, is by using the integration leading to inverse trigonometric function by uh, which will be um, resulted to an integral of 32 arctan of um, uh, arctan of x minus 2 so um, uh, remember the um, uh, some integral leading to arctan so we have 1 over a arctan uh, u all over a okay then plus c
So what is what is that uh, form? So it is in term of some um, functions u that is being squared plus some um, constant a that is also being squared. Okay. So um, try to um, solve this problem using this um, clue, and I will leave it to you. So thank you, and see you on our next video.